Yo, 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 it's your boy DC. <clears throat> Sorry about the voice. Um, it's a little different. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, sort of lost my voice, and I'm still going to do this because I have content that I need to provide for those who watch this. Those who are just waiting and hoping for another Sherlock Holmes, the devil's daughter. But yeah, we're gonna like get back back into this. <clears throat> it's actually worse than it was before. No matter what I do. So either way, we're gonna get back into this. Get it popping. Alright. Alright. When we last left off, we were figuring out this scene and you know trying to figure out what's next. So let's hop to it. Our task. If we choose to accept it, <clears throat> it's to find out where the technical cab came from. Perhaps it was not too far from the street. Or examine the belongings of the victims. We should probably examine the belongings of the victims. Uh, let's, uh, Let's figure this stuff out. No chance, no way. This is an absolute disaster. But this is an absolute disaster. Wait, why is he telling me to put that on? Oh, hey yo. Mud. Smell. Oof. Smells bad. It smells horrific. What's this? Mud. Oof. Smells bad. Fresh paint, but from something else. Wow. And had I not come down here, we would not have known. Is this door open? No. Oh, wait, hold up. There was a collision here. The technical cab collided and stopped here. Well, now, aren't we finding out a few things? The lock was forced. Let's go. Okay. Sneaky sneak. What's this? It's mud on the floor? You can't even see it. Trail of mud goes through the entire room. In the district of St. Victor, while in the act of demolishing an old church, Masons have undiscovered a nest of the snakes that was spawned them upward of a hundred squirming reptiles. These reptiles did inhabit the bottom of the well. Long since dried up and in the middle of the snake nest where it was the... Skeleton of a child who had likely punished down. Dang! Child got eight! Dang! Alright, let's find out. Uh, No chance, no way. I won't say I'm in love. I just got finished watching that movie Hercules. You know, a childhood, John. John, still, still good. Oh, snap! <clears throat> so we're gonna need Shark bait. Hoo ha. There's no space for this lockpick. Four and 
real work. Saleable items are produced here. It looks as though the carpet was placed here intentionally. Mud. Oh, smells bad. Mm. Mud. Smells bad. Smells bad even more. Let's, uh... What? An old access point to the sewers. An old access point to the sewers. Let's go. Oh snap, we in the sewers. Mud, it smells bad, because it came from down here. Okay, let's check some things out. La 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 la. Could go that way. Or could we go this way to the where there's nothing? Okay. Guess we have to go that way. Way. Or that way. Let's go this way. Wonder what would have happened. Would I have gotten stuck? That sounds tragic. Whatever. That was a door. I don't know why. I don't know why my screen turned around like that. If that ain't about the the creepiest freaking noise. And that would be an interruption from somebody. I don't know who it is. Can't go that way. This is rather weird. Well now, that was uh, very, very, very interesting. A pneumatic drill, the same as the one that we found in the tech camp. So safe to say they're down here somewhere. No chance, no way. Won't say I'm in love. Right. Oh, there's a thing right there. I didn't peek the first time. Why do I climb down so slow? My guess is I'm... It's kind of crazy because I had no idea I was supposed to do that. And I'm, I'm Sherlock Holmes, you know. I, I deduced that I was supposed to do that anyway.
Something told me to bring it down a half. Alright, here we go again. This is over over dramatic with this whole keep the thing in the balance thing. Like, and I can't walk any faster. This is this is this is a bit too much. They overuse this. This is one thing I could have done without always constantly using this. We walk so slow. Ain't nobody in their right mind walking that slow. Anything up here? Nope, just, you know, next little backdrop. I'm guessing that yet again, I need to let the water out. I was about to say, it sounds like water is still in here. I'm probably wrong. We're about to find out. Okay. There's a stop right there. And, all right. So if I go up here. Oh, wow. What? A major catwalk. Wow. That was unfortunate. So let's go up halfway. Let's see what happens. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's hilarious. But at the same time, how about no? I wanna see something. Cause I'm it's probably some rhyme or rhythm to this. Let's uh, move it down.
this is interesting. The first part was fairly easy. That took a, little, a few times, a bit of a time. It's annoying. Wish I'd have thought about it before. But by jolly, I've got it. Not know the ladder slip. Elaborate series of sewer stuff. Oh, look, an achievement. A red powder. Given the circumstances, most probably iron oxide. Or just rust. Metal powder. Looks like aluminium. Magnesium strips. Hmm. It's a very elaborate scheme for 
for someone. What I didn't know was coming, he yep. showed around. So, it was the goal of Rasko's gang to rob the bank. I hear footsteps, so... The thieves have opened almost all of the deposit boxes. They must have taken a great many valuables. Hmm. The thieves have opened almost all of the deposit boxes. They must have taken a great many valuables. Well, now. An old map of the sewers with a red cross. I'm guessing that's where the exit is. Because right now, that's where I am, where the money is. And then you go to the. Yeah. This vault belongs to the Bank of England. That's crazy. Excuse that point of view. Go straight across. That's where the bank of the money is. Come back through. Sure, I'm kind of fearless now. I think about a man without a gun. A banker. Dry, so it hasn't been here very long. Murat, quite a popular brand of cigarette. This cigarette stub is dry. It was discarded fairly recently. The tobacco's aroma is still strong. It's uh, sweet and nutty. Metal wings, they're used to hold the barrel in one piece. These barrels are empty and unsealed. Maybe they put the money in the barrel. All of the licorice has been eaten. The thieves used these barrels for the loot, which they then threw into the water. I need to warn Lestrade about this. Okay. But then they catch the the barrels downstream. That is pure pure pork, pure genius. Rob a bank, put the money in the barrels, let it sail down river. No one ever catches on. Genius. Crazy. Wait, can I?
I gotta go to the, the thing, so can I just go like that? Yep, I can do it. Ah, oh, Mr. Holmes, we have a slight problem. What happened? One of the suspects, a Mr. Reginald Butcher, has escaped. It was after we asked him to put his belongings in the evidence room. I'm sorry. How did he escape? Um, he hit me in the face. Took me by surprise, you know, otherwise I, uh... Of course. That's all? Just before he left the yard, he shouted, Sorry, I'll come back later. Sorry, I'll come back later. He could have said that without punching me. Is Inspector Lestrade here? No, he will oh, be out. looks like Sherlock's pissed off. Can we keep this oh my God. between us? Crazy shiner. Yeah, I ain't no snitch. He fudged you up. Your face is, is, is you know, pain enough. We're going here. Examine these heat stuff. Get this out of the way. There's so much stuff they needed to use both desks. The belongings of the victims. Rasco and his acolyte. Rasco is fond of licorice. Huh. The licorice was found both at the sewers and amongst Rasco's belongings. Coincidence? I think not. Evil plan. A normal pocket knife. A standard deck of playing cards. A Webley revolver. A police report about Rasco. He's only a minor criminal. Rasco. Okay. So that's pretty freaking you know, significant. That like his gang can be with the wolf tattoo. A book. Karl Heinz's 1848 De Maud with a bookmark. Open the book. This terrible passage is apparently appreciated by Garrett. If you have to blow up half a continent and create a bloodbath in order to destroy the barbarian's party, you can be deemed to possess neither scruples or conscience. Anyone who would not happily sacrifice his own life for the honor of exterminating a million barbarians is not a true Republican. That is a crazy thing, especially with what we're dealing with now. Put the clues together. Mm. Hey, okay. They just an extra clue. What's this? Oh snap, so he was in debt. Hmm. Wait. Electrical wires. Hmm. Thick leather gloves. They're probably insulated. Oh, nosy. Benjamin, my son, I would be so pleased if you could join me and lead our next chariot banquet, which is due to take place on Sunday art service. Your goodwill brings so much joy, and I'll know to rely upon you. 
I remember how your life began in sin. You feeling rejected and alone in the world and how you turned to a criminal path. But you found the strength within to make change. You'll become a good man. Our Lord will have mercy upon you. I shall be happy to see you in church, my son. God bless you, Pastor Gordon. Well now. We shall see. We shall see. My life has changed thanks to Pastor Gordon and my faith. Hmm. It's a lot of clues, apparently. Rebirth. Difficult life. Ha ha! Yeah, yo! Have been pretty obvious. Whiskey of poor quality. He's a broke man. Murad, quite a popular brand of cigarette. Mm. Reginald Butcher is fond of sweets. Uh. This pen is an expensive one, but it isn't new. Dear Mr. Butcher, your repeat absence, which is compounded by your delays and which your existing workload simply cannot continue. You're responsible for a number of serious errors that your colleagues have found themselves compelled to rectify. We are sorry for this present situation as you have been an exemplary employee. We understand the complication of your personal situation, but if you're unable to correct your behavior for the near future, we shall be in force to terminate your, in your employment. Oh. Reginald Butcher had problems with his job. We have most excellent news for you. Please arrange a visit to the hospital as soon as possible so that we conduct this matter. P.S. Her condition is stationary. Mm. This letter from yesterday perhaps explains why Butcher was in such a hurry. At any rate, I now have an exact address. Yes. The initials M.B. Mr. Butcher? I don't know. Ah. Ah. Meh. Meh. Did this one go all the way through? I believe it did. Okay. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. So that means that that task could be. Yes, okay. Should, should. Reginald, who was the one that escaped? Hmm, not. Who's doing the back? Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Man of faith, that's the guy. Good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation. I I'm am Benjamin here. Fowler, and I was arrested by mistake. I swear it. I bet you've not been Fowler. arrested, Mr. Fowler. You are here as a witness. Oh, but, but I, I saw, saw nothing. nothing. I, I swear. swear. Let me go. Let me go. Oh yeah, time to do the breakdown. You know, I recently got pretty good at these now. So we can see right now that his barber done fucked up his hairline. Okay. Oh. He used to be in a gang. Alright. 
He's now a man of faith. We saw that in there. His belt. Knuckles. Callus. He's a manual worker. Okay. Well, we fixed his leg. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Once you figure out this stuff is either. All right, so it's Could you tell me what you were doing at the scene of the accident? I was working on the square's statue. I worked for the council. I swear it. You can stop saying, I swear it. I Do you ever mean. work with electricity? Yes, sometimes. I repair electric lampposts, but I'm not a specialist. I swear it. It's new, isn't it? And complex and dangerous. I understand. Mr. Holmes, I know you're a great detective and you understand me, so please let me go. I know nothing. I swear Yes, it. you swear it. I Thank know. you. Thank you. So sick and tired of this. I Mr. Swear Fowler, it. does the name Rasco ring any bells with you? First time I ever heard it. I swear. But your tattoo time. resembles his. You are in his gang, are you not? Um, um, uh, no. It, it was a long time ago. I already forgot. I swear it. I, I just liar. picked a few pockets for him when I was a young fellow. But I ain't proud of what I did. All my family, my parents, my brothers, dogs and cats all died when I was a lad. I wouldn't have survived otherwise. This mother sucker. That he is. I'm gonna be nice in the beginning. I just wanna see what happens if I do this. Nothing. Okay, I'll go by original answer. I don't know why I did that. I meant to look at the rest of the clues too. He does do electricity now. Or Okay. Let's talk to this. Please sucker. escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. Why My name is Sherlock so Holmes. Thomas Garrett. Why am I here? <coughs> you are a witness to murder. Of course. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that the police jailed an innocent man in order to close a case. No one has been charged yet. Yet. <coughs> Shut your coughing ass up. I see what you are. Mm. Ugly nose. Obviously, he's ill. His coffin. A badge. Anarchist. Worn clothing. He's poor. Hmm. What's that closest? Ew. Jesus Christ. He works with electricity as well. So they both do. Wow. Did you perhaps see anything in particular during or after this disaster? Yes. I saw part of your bourgeoisie burn up and explode. It was spectacular. Why did you remain in the square? Why not seek shelter? Like the rest of the sheep. There were some wounded comrades, workers. I wanted to help them. Lying asshole. You have a severe cough. Are you suffering? It's only a cold. <coughs> Why not be honest with me? You are spitting up black fluid. Ah, well observed. Yes, I have enough coal dust in my lungs to fuel an entire London district. You were a miner then? Since the age of 13, yes. At the 13. Newcastle Mines. 15 years of hell. Those were bloody times. But now it's over. I don't want to die in those holes like my father and my brothers did. 
in order to line the pockets of the rich. <laughs> You're only gonna die anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Do you have any electrical knowledge? How do you know about that? You a mind reader? <coughs> there are electrical wires amongst your belongings. Clever. Yes. I'll teach electrics to my comrades, since I'm currently without paid work. I'm self-taught, so we're not as dumb as you might think. And I don't want to work for bosses anyway. Hmm. Self-taught. If I change this, so I don't know. Okay, so sufficient hours. So it's one or the other. We gotta catch the other guy. Let's go. Talk to everyone. So let's see. We've got documents, got electrical wire, boot you. Find the suspect who managed to escape the scouting sc yard. Hmm. Let's go. We're back again at this hospital. They rearranged some things. Let's see. Hmm. Quite. There's no one over here. Let's play the bit of piano. No. Someone likes kids' drawings. Maybe their kids. Maybe children. Maybe this is a children's hospital. I'm apparently in the children's ward. Hey, look at me clever. That is about the creepiest freaking thing. Oh my gosh. All right, wake up. It's a baby. What is going on here? Oh, jeez. Gee Willikers, Batman. I'm apparently in the children's ward. Oh, okay. Children are fairly sick. What's up with all these dolls? This is about the creepiest children's ward I have ever seen. Meryl Butcher. Oh, Mr. Butcher's here. 12 years. My, my list. Meryl Butcher. Mr. Reginald Butcher, I come from Scotland Yard. Might we talk? All right, but not too loudly. She's finally asleep. Is she your daughter? My pretty little Mel. She's very ill. Now look, I'm sorry I ran, but I had to see Dr. Blowberry today and the policeman wouldn't listen. Don't worry, I understand now. Time to deduce your foreface. Foreface. Forehead and face. Well, he works for the railway. Married. That was the daughter's gift. Yes. I'm gonna go back right because we look at his shoe. Shiny shoes recently clean. Oh, covering up. Covering up, are we? Oh, 
was once preposterous. I don't know what that means. Well, it looks like this might be the last case, everyone. So this, we're just going to keep this going. This is possibly going to be the longest video. What do you do for a living, Mr. Butcher? I, I work at the office of the Underground Electric Railways Company. Then you must be familiar with electrical devices. I am indeed. Why do you ask? It is of no consequence, but tell me, what are the reasons behind the problems you are experiencing at work? Problems? What do you mean? You have already received a written warning. Yes. I'm often late to work. My boss doesn't understand my situation. It's difficult since my daughter became ill. Oh! I see. I feel slightly bad. Because I'd probably be the same exact way. Coincidentally, we found one of your company's cabs in the square where the accident occurred. Really? Why was it there? I have no idea. Do you? No. But a week ago, we had a technical cab stolen, along with its tools. Do you think that could be the one? It's possible. I have no idea what's going on. Don't quite know. We're just gonna leave it there for now. Shh. Meryl's asleep. Don't shush me, fool. I'm a grown man. We go. Wake up, Meryl! I couldn't even pull off that screen. My voice is shattered. Interrogate possible suspects. I thought I did. Wait. Mission file at Karolinska University Hospital in Stockholm. A young woman lost her life. Mr. Butcher's wife. Oh wow. So his wife. Oh wow, everybody's just dying. That's definitely connected to that. Wow. I have found all the clues. I have no idea. I listen. We ain't about to put me in this in this. I interrogated all it. Can she be cured? It'll take a long time. 
but I'm confident that we'll win this fight. I can't bear to think otherwise. Yes, probably just a question of money. What are you talking about? It's a question of willpower, and my daughter will win. I do hope so. Although the treatment at the Karolinska University Hospital is very expensive. Ah, um... Yeah, it's our only hope. Thanks to the good Dr. Blowberry, she finally has a bed. We're going out next week. It's our last chance. Do you have children? Yes. I have a daughter too. Maybe that's why I'm so, uh... We'd sacrifice our lives for our children, would we not? Yes. Of course, yes. Well, that's a little violent. it? He did it. He did it. Mr. Butcher. Shh. She's finally asleep. I knew you'd return. You should go to Stockholm with your daughter. You will save her. I've made my decision. Leave now. You understand? I was forced to do all this. Perhaps you were. That was right. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye. I, I accept my... I accept it. Well, we're going to end it right here. As you see, there's something else coming up. So rather than hop right into the next one, I'm going to leave you guys on this cliffhanger. What is Fever Dreams? As you can see, we're in a room that we were once in when we searched. So who knows what Miss Alice is up to. This has been another good video. I'm your boy, Mr. DC, and I'm out this joint.